All right, hi, this is a slightly different video. This is all gonna be about weight loss and how to lose weight effectively and efficiently for the hill climb season. This is very specific advice. I wouldn't advise if you're doing a road race, something like that, but this is what has worked for me. So first, we're just gonna look at what I look like in Thailand. So you can see here, not fat at all, just not like mega, mega lean, to be honest, compared to like other people. Like look at Hayden to the left, look at me to the right, similar height, similar build. Um, and you can see like his forearms, obviously a lot lean than mine. Uh, at this moment in time, I think I probably weighed about 63, 64 kilos, um, which obviously isn't heavy, it's not obese or anything like that. Um, but you can see here, like, my legs have literally zero de definition. Um, and that's not necessarily because I am have fat on the legs, it's more like water weight and all the rest of it. So you can see here again, like, I'm not fat at all, but I'm just not mega lean. And like losing a couple kilos can definitely help, especially if you can do it and not lose power, um, which in reality is relatively easy to do. Um, if you're sort of what I was and probably will go back to when I stop like just really concentrating on it because like to be honest it can be a bit dead um, at this moment in time I just ate as much as I wanted I wasn't really concentrating on anything I was just training just well, not training I was literally just riding just for fun um, and it was good like I enjoyed it um, but obviously when, if you want to win stuff and you want to do better in hill climbs then it's obviously it's important that you lose your weight um, so I'd say like we're then going to have a couple pictures just me comparing afterwards so you can see again like it's not like I was lost loads of fat. Like so, here's me, at 60 kilos, um, and you can see like my arms visibly a lot lighter, my legs a lot leaner. Here you can see again, um, you can see a lot more definition in the arms, a lot more definition in the legs, and that actually I wouldn't say as much. I don't think I probably lost very much fat. I'd say it's more water weight. So anyway, I'm now well, I was on that day 60 kilos, and I'll tell you how I managed to get there. So I lost well, more or less three or four kilos. So. Number one was just not eating as much fried food, oil, oily food, which I had in Thailand. So obviously, high carb vegan is preferable at all points, vegan 100%. But obviously, I, can't, I don't always eat um, high carb necessarily. I always eat high carbohydrate, but I might eat a lot of oil as well. Um, so in Thailand, I was eating a lot of fake meats and things like that. And that definitely just makes you gain a little bit of weight. Is it a disaster? No. Um, is it, should you like try and eat no oil? I don't think that's necessarily, um, you don't have to do that. Um, it also depends what your goals are. Like obviously, if you're doing long rides, then oil is good, and it can make you feel pretty mega on the bike, I've found. Um, so yeah, I did that, um, and then just tried not to eat outrageous amounts, um, and just eat more whole foods. Um, when I got home, just like, I when I normally when I cook, I just, when I cook it myself, I don't use oil or anything like that. Didn't eat out much in most of uh, July, uh, September, um, and I managed to get down to like 62 kilos, 61 kilos. Um, so yeah, I was, this month I've been about 61 kilos more or less every single day um, and that's mainly just like training well only maybe 10-15 hours a week so not mega mega I mean for some people that might be a lot but it's not 25 hour weeks or anything like that but it's just concentrating on what you eat making sure you try and eat just like if you're feeling hungry like don't eat something fatty just try and have a fat bowl of oats that generally does it a lot of oats in the morning just fills you up a lot and you don't tend to um, crave a lot of fatty food which is the main thing and generally just being like sensible like Sometimes you might feel hungry, but you're not really that hungry, just like thirsty, or you're hungry, but like in reality, you don't really need the food because you haven't actually done anything all day. You've got to sort of be measurable. Like I'm not, I never count my calories, never have. Will I? Maybe, but I just can't be, can't be bothered. It's just too much effort. So I'd say the last kilo or so that I lost, um, I probably only lost like maybe a day or two before, um, and that was actually water weight. So what I did the day before, um, Generally on these hill climbs, you don't need very much water. Dehydration, I don't think it's gonna be a huge issue. And also carbohydrate intake is also not a huge issue because it's such a short effort. So you're gonna have enough glycogen in your muscles. So the day before, I mean, I ate normally. I didn't document it, unfortunately, but I didn't eat crazy, crazy amounts. I didn't have like 300 grams or like 200 grams of like dry weight of, of rice, let's say, the night before, because there's just no need. I ate a medium meal, not much, probably had a bowl of oats just before I went to bed. Um, well, not before I went to bed, maybe late-ish, um, and yeah. And the thing I did, which I think helped me to lose weight, which is actually a very useful thing, is I did a turbo session with no fan. And I, so I did a turbo session with no fan. I think I, w I, and I probably lost almost like half a kilo or more just on that one turbo session, just because of the pure water weight and sweat. And I think for me especially, as sometimes it's sort of the younger people, they tend to store more water weight and more fat, seen as like baby fat. Um, and that's definitely true. If you look at a lot of pro athletes, I remember riding with Owen Duell and some of the other younger guys, they definitely had a lot more, Christopher Halverson as well, he's like 21. Um, they had a lot more just like fat, not fat, but just like size on their calves and things. And I think that's definitely true on a lot of younger people, um, especially if you're not like 
built super skinny and super lean from like day one. If you're slightly shorter, slightly sort of stockier, then that's definitely true. And I think doing the turbo session the day before really helped um, in order to lose that last thing. So then I woke up in the morning, I was thinking I was about 60.4 kilos, uh, which is the lightest I've been in for quite a long time. I think it's the combination of just like good diet, try not to eat bad things, um, and then that last turbo session, I think, really helped. Um, and I've got a hill climb on Saturday, which is which was probably one of my probably the most important hill climb that I have because nationals I'm not going to perform. Uh, it's the uni hill climb, so I really want to do well on that. Um, and at the moment, like my weight hasn't been mega this week. I've been eating a lot of bad things. Um, but anyway, I I will do the turbo session, hopefully lose some weight. But I'd say to end this video, like I'm not that obsessed about weight. I talk about weight a lot because I'm not scared of it. It doesn't going on the scales and seeing 65 kilos, it doesn't upset me. I used to do this thing actually when I was in Thailand with Tori, which is quite funny. I'd literally go to the restaurant, eat so much, drink as much water as possible. And in Thailand, I'm not sure if you've been there, but outside a lot of 7-Elevens, they have scales. And I get on and I see like how heavy I'd be. I'd look at 68 kilos or something, like last thing at like, night. And like, Tori was like, oh, that would trigger me so much. But like, I just feel like if you weigh yourself literally every single day or like just random times, like you just lose the the sphere of the scale, you're just like, it's a number, it doesn't matter, it doesn't define me. And like, I realized that it, it is important at hill climb season, as soon as I finish hill climbs, I probably won't weigh myself for a couple of weeks just because there's no point because it doesn't actually matter. But if you have a target goal, then yeah, it's, it's clever, but don't get obsessed about it, it doesn't change you. Like I know some days, like, I put on every single race the weight I've been just because for the watts per kilo calculations, but so one day I woke up, I was 62 kilos and I was like, that means I have to do 500 watts to do 8 watts per kilo instead of 4, 480 if I, sorry, 4, wait, yeah, yeah, 4, um, 480 if I was um, 60 kilos, but that doesn't really, like, I, I don't care. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to change me. So I think it's, it's having that healthy relationship of not realizing that weight isn't the most important thing in the world. Um, but there are ways, really easy ways, like I said, just do the turbo session and sweat as much as you can. Make sure you don't eat that much salt the night before. Just little things that you can do that don't even change necessarily like how, fat you are like how much fat you have on you but just trying to like optimize your weight for the day also on the day itself try not to drink too much water i often warm up on purpose again what so i sweat out quite a lot just have a little bit of sips of water make sure your mouth's not too dry and that you're not dehydrated um but that definitely helps but yeah so i hope this has helped you um if you are looking to lose weight just for the hill climb season um in general i mean it's like the main thing is the what i mean like for me there are people who weigh heavier than me who win hill climbs. Like, that's not the thing. But it's just thinking, how can I, like, be faster with doing the easiest things possible? I mean, some things I could do. I could spend 10K and buy, like, a kilo and a half lighter bike. Or, like, 5K or whatever, how much it would be. Or I could just not eat, like, loads of fatty food and just try and cut down on the amount of salt and things like that I have just the day, a couple of days before to make sure that I don't have too much water weight on me and that I wake up on the morning at like 60 kilos and ready to go. Um, so it's just sort of those things that you can do, which aren't very tiring, not very taxing. Um, they don't change your life that much. It's like probably only two days before you've got to think about it. Um, but yeah, I, hopefully this doesn't sound too obsessed. I know some people do get crazy about the weight, but then often the power suffers. Ultimately, for me, like I know what power I have to do, and the weight is just like a function of that. It doesn't it's not like, I'm like, oh yeah, I have to do less power if I'm lied to know. It's like, I'll just go faster. So for me, it's always thinking the training is the most important thing and the diet is just the way you can get the extra little bit out. Um, so yeah, I hope that did help you if you're not struggling to like, I mean, if you're just struggling to lose the last little bit of water weight, if that's your issue, or if you're just like a little bit heavier and thinking, how can I lose some weight? Generally, it's pretty easy. Um, and if, yeah, you don't want to, if you want to eat uh, a lot of food but not necessarily have as much the calories, then just eat like greens, just loads of them the night before. And then you'll feel full, but you won't have that like, if you if you ate that much rice, let's say, uh, to make yourself feel full, you'd obviously weigh more because rice stores a lot of water with it. So that's the sort of things you have to be thinking about, uh, in my opinion. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.